chord is G sharp. This has G sharp in it. It's C sharp minor. Um, fourth fret, A string. Arpeggiate the chord forward. Ascending, I mean. An ascending um, C sharp minor chord. We're going to punctuate this on beat four by playing the fourth finger on E on the uh, on the A string to a G sharp. So the G sharp's already part of the chord. Fourth finger comes up and finishes off the riff. So that's gonna happen for two bars, two measures. to a D-sharp diminished chord, D-sharp diminished 7, start with your 2nd finger on D-sharp, 4th finger A, 3rd finger C-sharp, 1st finger D-sharp, and then back down. Right, so. From there, uh, an E to an F-sharp, you can either execute that like this, on the same string, or you can allow those two notes to harmonize. Simonize and analyze about like that. So second chord, D sharp diminished seven. I kind of like that that kind of slightly discordant harmony right there. Um, from there to a G sharp major chord. So we'll play D sharp, G sharp, and B sharp. Yes, B sharp. And from there, an octave at the end of that. So we have slowly, slowly. A moment of elation. Uh, resolving to an A major chord. Um, I'm gonna spread this one out too. I guess you could play it like this. That's fine, that's totally fine. If you wanna take a more melodic approach to that and not let all of those tones ring together, you can play this. Um, two A's to a C sharp. And now bring in this high E on the same string as the C sharp. So now you have two fingers on the same string. Back to C sharp. Right. Pinky will cross over to the A string in such a way. So we'd have back to C sharp minor. this glorious A7 chord. It is. Feeling the glory of that A7. So let's spell that one out. A, G. C sharp. No fifth in this chord, no E. I'm going to go right to the, uh, the seventh again, a high G. Eighth fret of the B string. Here's the fifth. So we're going to this E and G figure. Um, from there to an A13 chord to finish off our first phrase. To a D major. And then some sort of variety of E9, then an E7 flat 9, I'm sorry, yeah, E9, then E7 flat 9. Um, so the first part, when you play D, G sharp, and B, that in and of itself is the outline for uh, a rootless E7 chord. When you bring in this high F, if it was in tune, F sharp would be the 9. And then from there, F natural, flat 9. So, I like to do this, play the first three tones. F sharp is a harmonic, and then against that F sharp, this really sweet sounding F natural with vibrato on the G string. So we have like this really fairly sibilant, bright sounding F sharp harmonic to this much duller F natural, kind of a cool sound. And then back to C sharp minor. at every, every bonfire, every gathering. 
All right. Um, so the next part that um, uh, follows that, how does this? How does the form of this tune go? I don't know. Um, but uh, when you get to the break, where the lyric is "old is love, old is new," that part there, uh, F sharp major. G-sharp major, G-sharp 7, which resolves us, pulls us back to C-sharp minor. Thank <laughs> you.